Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 and the last video of my video series on Arduino sensor modules. In my last three videos, I covered most of the common Arduino-related sensors. Today's video is not about sensors exactly. In this part, I'll be diving into some commonly used modules that are totally Arduino-friendly and super useful for your future projects. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome content on tech, electronics, and DIY builds. Alright, let's start the video. This 0.96-inch OLED display module is a compact and high-contrast screen often used in Arduino and other microcontroller projects. I showed 16 by 2 LCD modules in my previous video. Unlike these traditional LCDs, this tiny OLED module doesn't need a backlight because each pixel emits its own light, resulting in deeper blacks and better visibility, even in low light. It usually comes with a resolution of 128 by 64 pixels and communicates using either I2C or SPI, being the most common and easiest to connect. The display runs on 3.3 to 5 volts, making it fully compatible with most development boards. This tiny screen is perfect for showing sensor values, icons, menus, graphs, or even simple animations in a super space-efficient way. It's often used in wearables, mini dashboards, IoT projects, and anything that needs a crisp visual interface without taking up much room. There are free Arduino libraries available online that make it easy to program and display custom graphics or text with just a few lines of code. The L293D Motor Shield is a convenient expansion board for Arduino that makes it easy to control motors without complex wiring. It's based on the L293D Dual H-Bridge Motor Driver IC, and it can control up to two DC motors or one stepper motor, with individual speed and direction control for each. As this module consists of two L293D ICs, it can control four different DC motors and two stepper motors. The shield stacks directly on top of the Arduino Uno and uses standard Arduino pins, making setup simple and clean. It supports PWM for speed control and allows an external power supply for motors that need more current than the Arduino can provide. There are also extra connections on the shield for servos and even some sensor inputs. This is also a motor driver module based on the L298 Dual H-Bridge Motor Driver IC, which can control two motors independently with both speed and direction. The module can handle voltages from 5 to 35 volts and provide up to 2 amps of current per channel, making it suitable for small to medium-sized motors. The module consists of a single L298 IC, so it can only control two individual DC motors. That's the main difference between two of these motor driver modules. Apart from this, both are solid choices for beginners working on robotic cars, basic automation, or other motorized projects. The Max 7219.Matrix Display Module is a versatile and visually appealing display solution commonly used in Arduino and other microcontroller projects. It typically features an 8x8 grid of LEDs, allowing you to display letters, numbers, symbols, and even small animations. The heart of the module is the Max 7219 Driver IC, which handles the multiplexing and control of the LEDs, drastically reducing the number of pins needed to interface with the microcontroller. Using just three pins, you can easily connect the module via SPI communication, and it's even possible to chain multiple modules together to create larger scrolling displays or custom patterns. The module runs on 5 volts, is energy efficient, and offers brightness control, making it suitable for both indoor and outdoor environments. It's widely used in digital clocks, temperature displays, message boards, scoreboards, and creative LED signage. The Arduino Keypad Module is a simple and effective input device used in microcontroller projects to allow user interaction. It usually comes in a 4x4 or 4x3 matrix layout, consisting of 16 or 12 buttons arranged like a calculator or phone keypad. I have two of these types of keypads. This one is a solid plastic-built keypad, and this one is a membrane-type flexible keypad. When you press a button, it sends a signal through a specific row and column, which the Arduino detects using digital pins. It works with the Arduino keypad library, which makes it super easy to read key presses by mapping rows and columns automatically. The keypad is powered by 5 volts, and it's commonly used in password-protected systems, menu navigation, automation setups, or any project where numerical or directional input is needed. The Arduino Joystick Module is a fun and interactive input device that works just like the analog stick on a game controller. It has two potentiometers inside, one for the x-axis and one for the y-axis, which let you detect the direction and movement of the stick. It also includes a push button that you can activate by pressing the stick down. The module gives out analog values for both axes and a digital signal for the button, making it easy to read with an Arduino. It runs on 5 volts and is great for projects like robot control, camera movement, game controllers, or any application requiring directional input. It's an excellent choice for interactive projects that need smooth and real-time control. The Arduino Relay module allows you to control high-voltage devices like motors, lights, and appliances using your Arduino. It uses a low-voltage signal from the Arduino 
to switch these devices on or off. It's perfect for applications like home automation, smart switches, and security alarms, enabling you to safely control powerful devices with minimal wiring. I have another type of relay module here. This is an LDR relay module, which combines a light-dependent resistor with a relay, allowing you to control high-voltage devices based on the amount of light detected. The LDR changes its resistance according to the light intensity. When the light level reaches a certain threshold, it triggers the relay to switch on or off the connected device. You can adjust the threshold by this built-in potentiometer. This LDR module is perfect for projects like automatic lights, solar-powered systems, or light-sensitive applications. A solenoid lock is an electronic locking mechanism commonly used in security systems, such as smart locks or access control systems. It works by using an electromagnetic solenoid to move a metal rod or bolt, locking or unlocking the mechanism. When 12 volts DC is supplied to the solenoid, it generates a magnetic field that pulls or pushes the locking mechanism to either lock or unlock it. Solenoid locks are commonly used in doors, cabinets, and electronic safes, and are a reliable choice for projects that require secure access control. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video series helpful and picked up something new about Arduino sensors and modules. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts. In my upcoming videos, I'll be diving deeper into these modules one by one, showing you how to use them in real projects. So, stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next video.